Well, hey team, Grant Hagen back here. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is call this the Reality Capture Recap. Don't know if this is gonna stick or not, but uh, hey, we're gonna give it a shot. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, dropping some notes in there uh, about what some of the names of this could be, and who knows, we're gonna stick around with it there. If I haven't met you yet, my name's Grant, uh, and welcome in. Uh, what we do on this is really go through five things really quickly uh, about stuff that's going on in kind of the Reality Capture world uh, this week, and uh, just some things that I wanted to share. So these are the five topics that we cover two minute time box on each of them. And I hope that you get as excited about this as we are. So uh, the first one, if you haven't seen this video, uh, this was amazing. Uh, the Red Bull team from F1, if you guys are fans of Drive to Survive, which I am, uh, welcome back to the F1 season. This is really cool. But I just thought this was amazing. Uh, definitely the best thing I saw. I probably watched it three or four times. And you may be thinking like, hey, what does this have to do with reality capture? Why are you showing this? Obviously, it's a really cool video. Uh, but I think what's really cool about it, uh, my favorite part of this was like the technical stuff that they got to do uh, in really testing and trying and making this uh, a reality for uh, the Red Bull racing team. I just thought this was fascinating. I think what was really cool is that it just like kind of re-energized me to think about like, hey, the engineering side of how we approach reality capture uh, really is, I think, one of the most fascinating things because these guys were obviously trying to test and see, hey, uh, is there a way to kind of leverage up the way that we uh, kind of uh, watch and see uh, how these cars are raced? And this was just a really, really cool way to kind of go and approach that problem. And so uh, I've, again, probably watched this four or five times, which was just awesome. And we just encourage you to go back and check it out. Uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, the whole video uh, is about 12 minutes long, but uh, just be encouraged by like, hey, if we approach reality capture with this like, uh, trial and error mindset. Uh, here you go here. We got some ads that are playing in there. But uh, what was just really cool about it is I think it was uh, just fun to see how they approach this mindset of uh, just going about uh, really testing things, which is just really cool. Uh, would highly encourage you to go check it out. Uh, I just thought it was awesome. So let's move into the next one here of give them a follow. Uh, this one was a no brainer here this week. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out uh, and met Ted, Ted is all over LinkedIn. Some of his posts are the most viral posts I've really seen in kind of the space of reality capture here. You can go and see all the different things that he's uh, chatted about here and put out here. I just think what's really cool is uh, what Ted does a great job of is being able to like respond back to comments on people's posts. Uh, so again here, this is one that I think he posted here within the last month or so, but just a really cool example. And I mean, he does a great job of like, showing the technical, but yet the practical side of things of how this really works. I mean, this has like four, 4,500 likes. And then the comment thread, honestly, the comment thread is probably the best part, but uh, Ted really just appreciate you, man, for all the work that you're doing uh, to really help educate folks out there. Definitely go give him a follow. Uh, there's some really great stuff out there uh, that Ted's putting together around just this idea of reality capture. Uh, and so definitely go check him out. Uh, the next one here of who's crushing it. Uh, I really when I was thinking about this topic, uh, I was always really encouraged when I found this company or when I came across this company. Uh, and it's called the tool, uh, the tool is called CM Builder. And CM Builder uh, is really helping elevate the way that uh, reality capture is consumed for the construction industry. Uh, what's really cool is it's a, a logistics tool that helps you visualize, obviously, all the things that happen on a job site, whether that's in kind of an interview or pursuit mode, or really just helping communicate with different contractors and folks that are coming in and off of the site. But this part right here, which is just, I thought really cool, is what they're doing is they can ingest drone data, obviously is what you're seeing here from uh, captured from a drone. And when that's processed, they can bring it in to really help animate and show different parts of the pieces of really the construction logistics of that job in particular. And so uh, if you haven't heard of them and you're in the construction space, one, I would just go encourage you to go check them out. Uh, they have some really great stuff out there that I think is super encouraging uh, just to really help make uh, drone and reality capture data more accessible to more folks. So uh, Javier, I know if you're tuning in here, you're probably getting ready for your uh, Friday feature video that you do. And so uh, one, I just love that you uh, keep doing those and it's just really cool to see. Uh, so go check these guys out if you haven't seen or heard of them. Uh, just another great uh, player in the space of reality capture uh, and helping making that more accessible for folks. So the next one here is uh, really on the horizon. Uh, I am really excited. This is almost kind of, I feel like turned into a little bit of this uh, like kind of rumor mill sense. I, I don't know what we're going to call it or if uh, a horizon is really kind of the, the thing that we're going to keep here. But uh, I came across this article uh, this week. Someone actually sent it my way and I was like, this is really fascinating. Uh, what it is, is uh, in the ground space capture for uh, reality capture, you know, 360 cameras have been huge. 
Uh, these are some rumor mills that are coming out around Insta360, who is clearly one of the biggest players in the space, uh, about their new camera called the X4 is what it looks like here. Uh, if you didn't know the X3 and the X2 that you can kind of see the time on here, the Insta One X, which is the first one that came out in 2018. This was really exciting. Uh, really, I, I think democratized this idea of reality capture through 360 cameras really early on. And they've since come out with an X2 and X3. And then this kind of rumor mill here that stirring is a potentially new camera here in uh, 2024. And so uh, another article that I saw, cause I was kind of looking at like, hey, when were these releases? What does that look like? Uh, the X3 came out in September, really two years ago in uh, 2022. But what's really exciting about this, I think if we look at here, the Insta uh, One RS uh, One Inch Edition, this June 2022, this has really become the standard for, I think, a lot of uh, capture uh, from a 360 camera. And what's really cool about this is that uh, I think that One Inch sensor is really what uh, excited a lot of people in this space uh, that were using 360 cameras. And so uh, obviously that's a two-year-old product uh, back in June, 2022. And so it'd be really exciting to see what this X4 comes out with. I just thought it was really interesting to kind of see uh, some of these rumor mills that were coming out. Obviously none of this has been announced. None of this has been public or really set out yet, but uh, just a lot of comments and threads about, hey, what this could be. So uh, I just thought this was really interesting of kind of what's on the horizon and what uh, some folks I'm sure are really excited about and interested to see uh, kind of in this space as uh, that continues to come out. So. Uh, the last part here in hot takes, uh, let's take a look at this. I thought what was really interesting last week uh, when we put this video out, uh, which was really cool, is really just the uh, the the idea and hot take around uh, how do we make uh, reality capture data more accessible? Uh, and I love that thought. And really what came to mind is this is a report that we've been trying to do here on uh, our team of kind of the state of reality capture, uh, just some ideas here about uh, really uh, uh, I would say surveying a lot of folks in this industry. And what's cool about this is that there's a lot of great data in here, obviously some um, metrics and numbers that you'll go through and see. But I thought some of these uh, points were really interesting. And that's like, like, hey, the folks that are getting into reality capture are clearly seeing an ROI from it. Like that is definitely happening. I think the uh, thought here uh, is that why is it not being adopted more? And I think some of the things in this report kind of alludes to a little bit here too, uh, like, hey, it's on the rise. Uh, there's some really interesting things in here that, hey, is cost the main barrier of adoption? And when I think about it here, I think the hot take, I guess this week that I was just kind of trying to think through is, you know, last week we talked about automation and that being a big uh, thing to consider. You know, automation is really expensive. There's a lot of things on the hardware side that get to be uh, really expensive when you think about um, just what you invest in. And I think the hope this year is that these costs of automation go down uh, which will help drive that adoption for a lot of folks uh, here this year. So very much curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, it was brought up last week of like, hey, what are some of the biggest barriers to adoption for reality capture? Uh, and this week's hot take is really, I think, just cost. I think that's something that's going to be really challenging uh, for folks to consider as uh, they're getting ROI out of using reality capture, but obviously the cost to maybe adopt some of these things are uh, maybe a barrier to them. So very curious to hear your thoughts. I uh, wanted to keep this really short, sweet. Uh, I hope these are fun. I hope these are uh, helpful, engaging. Uh, again, please uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment thread below. Uh, just really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you have any articles or things that you guys are finding, obviously comment uh, in the section below. Definitely curious to hear uh, more of your thoughts and really uh, aggregating more of this in the weeks to come. So appreciate you. We'll see you guys next week and we'll talk soon.